Sewell Group, where people are fundamental to the business. Um, so tell me about this lapel badge. I see you're seventh in the top 100 times in best employers list. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Um, something we, uh, we started and we entered about four years ago. Um, we were just trying to benchmark ourselves. We have team huddles uh, with our management team and, and with our uh, staff working on the, on the tills. Uh, clearly a lot of training focused on particularly on customer service and the likes. Um, we have a lot of engagement exercises which we actually skip level. We take the managers out of the position and sort of try to get you know, really to the heart of our business so people are communicating, telling us what's working, what's not working. I started with Soul Retail four years ago as a sales assistant, so I got put on a management trainee course and then after that I was put on Leadership Challenge and, um, and I'm now currently a manager of a site. Quentin, we're stalling you away from the Sewell Group convention this week. Could you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, it's a, a week-long event. Uh, it's a look back at last year, how that went. It's all our plans for this year and, and what we intend to do. And at the end of the week, it's, it's a celebration of, of all the wins we had for uh, 2011. What is customer service to the Sewell Group? Customer service to the Sewell Group is, is the lifeblood of what we're trying to achieve. We're a people business, you know. Everything we do is, is people-orientated. If we don't do our people thing right, then we don't really have a business, to be honest. Customer service is extremely important in our stores. So why don't we meet the Sales Assistant of the Year? Hi, Dave. Hi, Rav. So, Sales Assistant of the Year? Yep. How do you get it? Uh, I was nominated by my two bosses, Derek and Louise, and they put me forward for it. Um, we had to fill out an application form. We had to get customers to sort of fill out an application form to why I should win. Customers, how do you engage with them? Um, I sort of treat every customer as, as cliche, but I treat every customer as a friend. Yeah. Okay. And they're all neighbours because everyone's sort of local here or a local shop, sort of village community. So um, I know pretty much most people who come in the store, so it's nice to engage them in conversation and, and sort of chat to them about their day and how they're doing, and, and that's nice. So, Derek, why David? Well, basically, David is generally, he can do everything we want him to do. He can do anything in the store. Mm -hmm. He has excellent customer service, and we know we can trust him to mm -hmm. fulfill our needs of running the store when we're not there. How important is customer service to your store? I would put customer service second to having the shelves full. Mm -hmm. You can't sell the products if your shelves are not full, and you won't sell it to anybody if you, if you don't have good customer service. Mm -hmm. David is an excellent assistant because he is always friendly, helpful, a joy to be served by. It's been six or seven years of, of hard work and hard work from Derek and Louise and I hope that I've paid them off. We all talk about social responsibility, but here's a store that does it really well, the People's Supermarket. Um, so, a year on, yep. People's Supermarket, mm -hmm. staffing, how do you manage everybody? Well, we have 19 paid employees we have a thousand members that come and help. They give four hours of their time a month. And added on to that, they also do all sorts of things in the shop, work the till, do the invoicing. But what is really amazing is actually our till losses are in pence. <laughs> so I've got total belief and faith in my team. Why are the members so important? The members are so important because actually it's fundamental to what we believe in. We're trying to create a space where people of the community come and have community cohesion and we're using food to do that. Promotions? I don't see many around. Well we don't actually do many promotions, particularly we don't do bog offs because we think they generate waste and they encourage people to buy food they don't need. Um, I felt like I need to be a member of, uh, of, of this place to, to participate in uh, the project because uh, I think we need an alternative to the huge uh, supermarkets. And for us, the moment you put on your yellow t-shirt, you're not judged. That's what we're all about. We don't waste people, we don't waste food.